is this the right moment to be saying grow the city? Isn't it time to say There's, tame the city? There are two things. Uh, there are two things. There, I'll come to taming the city in a moment. Uh, we're not a ch the Bank of England, and You're I'm a great not, one for two two uh, things, uh, Governor. Well, you, asked, two things. You, you, you embed multiple. I'm choosing two of the many things I could pick uh, from that question. But the um, the first thing, we're not a, the Bank of England. I'm not. Uh, we're not cheerleaders for the city. Uh, our job is to uh, make the city safe, effectively, and the financial system safe, and then it will find its own size. And the point I was making in the speech is that London is the global financial center, and finance as a proportion of the global economy is going to grow not because it's going to grow in the advanced economies, but because it's going to grow in the emerging economies. And London's traditional role is to be in the center of those, uh, of, of those flows. Now, if London follows that route, as it has in the past, four centuries, then it's going to grow relative to the economy, if, if, if. Our job is to make it safe. There's two aspects of that. First, make it fair. Fairness means that if you make a mistake in the city, you pay the consequences. If you make a business mistake and you're a big bank, you fail, just like you would if you were a small mm. corner shop anywhere across this country, uh, a farmer, whatever. Make is this mistake, part of the taming? And this is part of the taming. Yeah, I'm on my second. I'm sorry, <laughs> I should have signaled. Um, the, uh, and, and, and so there's a series of reforms we're doing so that end too big to fail. The second part of the taming and, the, and part of the fairness is the integrity of these markets. We, there has to be, these have to have the most integrity of any markets. We have to change uh, the structure of these markets, and we're working on that, and we have to root out uh, um, corruption in these markets where it's found. And we are very concerned about the allegations in the FX market. Uh, we, are, we are supporting uh, the authorities, the FCA and others, in their investigations. Um, and we will do so. And we collectively, it's not our primary responsibility, but we'll do everything we can to root this out. I'll say the last thing on it, if I'm allowed three, which is ultimately these issues of integrity they're issues of culture within these organizations, and they are the responsibility of the senior management and the boards of these organizations to set the right tone from the top all the way down through the organization so that it can be delivered. Does, it, does it set the right tone to be saying to the Chinese, come in, do business here, set up banks, and actually the regulation you'll be subjected to will be actually lighter mm. than that which we've applied to banks which have already gone off the rails? Uh, it, that would not be the right thing to say, but we certainly haven't said it. Uh, well, the, the China, no, very, absolutely, very strong, ab no, sure. absolutely not. What what we have done is uh, we have changed our policy for foreign branches uh, in the UK, and we have put an emphasis on this fairness point. What is crucial is the ability to resolve the institution mm. if it makes a mistake, and so we need an understanding with uh, those foreign authorities. Uh, we might come to that understanding with the Chinese uh, authorities, uh, and it's logical that the Chinese would be here. Mm. But the second thing that we've done is we uh, have restricted this activity to what's called wholesale activity. So it's not a retail activity. You and I aren't going to have uh, accounts at, uh, at these, these banks. It's going to be city-like activity, if it indeed uh, occurs. But these are the same rules uh, for everybody. The Chinese aspect is a product of the fact that the Chinese, this is the second largest economy in the world. It's one of those emerging market financial sectors that is growing quite rapidly. 